Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today in front of you is the Aviate Spitfire 4089, a release that will be releasing for sale October 1st from Aviate. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below. It's obviously a pilot's watch, it's a chronograph, and it's a pretty new cool looking style that they released. Um, there are a few different color variations that will be available for purchase. You can actually sign up for the newsletter if you happen to be watching this video before October 1st. Uh, but anyway, there also is a discount code to save 20% on any Aviate timepiece. And you can use the code WA20 or Watch Addict, and that will save you 20%. Um, if you want to, it helps out the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, let's see what's on my wrist today, and then we'll jump right into it, guys. On my wrist today is the Oceanica Barracuda. This is a watch that um, will be released, uh, I think it's pretty much sold out already, but this watch will be released in, I believe, a couple of weeks, and uh, it was from a Kickstarter campaign that was successful, and uh, this is one of the prototypes um, on the rubber quick-release strap, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, definitely very Seamaster-ish-like, but uh, also very different as well. Jumping right into specifications, this watch is housed in a solid 316L brushed stainless steel case. We'll take a closer look at the finishing in a moment. It does have a 22 millimeter lug width. It features a 51 millimeter lug to lug width. We're looking at a 42 millimeter diameter across and a case thickness of 13 millimeters, which is not that bad for a chronograph. Um, it's definitely a very unique look. Um, I don't really know many other watches that uh, have this exact dial or case shape, so I'd definitely say it's definitely a very unique watch. Um, obviously, it's that very, you know, aviation-themed. All their watches are aviation-themed. The brand name is AV8, and it is on, uh, owned by the Dartmouth Group, which owns Spinnaker watches as well. Uh, anyway, we also do get a hardened mineral lens with anti-reflective coating, so no sapphire on this one. The price will probably be below 300 US dollars, so don't expect sapphire on this model. They do have other models with sapphire crystals as well, though, if you want to check out on their website. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This watch does have a chronograph, obviously. First, I want to take a look at the dial and see what it's all about here. As you can see, we do have a 60-minute chronograph. Um, we have a nice sweeping seconds hand here. We have a cool date cut out, as you can see there. Get you in a little closer. Mecha quartz movement, so you know what's inside of this one. Uh, 165 feet, 50 meters of water resistance, stated right on the dial. Nice large applied numerals. Uh, the 2, 4, and the 8 and the 10, and the markers are applied. We get minute, minute markings in between here. We also do get a 24 hour subdial over at the 3 o'clock position, which is very useful to quickly glance at the hour. Um, we do get 5, 25, 35, and 55 in a kind of a smoky gray color, um, which looks pretty cool with that kind of old vintage faux yellowish tone that's used on here to mimic an older watch. Um, but yeah, interesting crown as well. Nice small pushers on the side. So yeah, it's a 60 minute chronograph. It is the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. Most of you guys are pretty familiar with this movement. Um, it has a smooth sweep of the seconds hand. Uh, by actuating the chronograph through here, there's one, there's a couple of jewels in here, so you kind of get that mechanical feeling when you actuate the chronograph button. I'll go ahead and do that right now. As you can see, it kind of sweeps a little bit, so you get that kind of feeling of a mechanical chronograph, even though it's not. Well, it's kind of is. It has a quartz, you know, module mixed with a couple of jewels for that uh, chronograph. So, you know, it runs on a battery, it's very accurate, and you shouldn't have to worry about this one for a few years. And yeah. Um, stop it. There it stops. And everything lines up very nicely when I snap it back. Now this over here, the crown. Get a quick set date. Set it to 1. As you can see, it's very legible. Even yellowish um, and black to match the background of this smoky black dial. Um, so we can pull it to our final position. And we can set the time on these long style pilot hands. Very legible hands, I must say. I really do like this style of hands. They're blacked, uh, painted black over here, and then that kind of vintage faux on the edge. They all are. They are filled with C3 Super Luminova. Um, the hands, all these markers as well. I'll throw up a loom shot in a little bit. Push it back down, and for that 50 meters of water resistance. Let's take a look at the actual case, case shape. So as you can see, we have a pretty standard uh, pilot style case here. Interesting style pushers though. They are highly polished, while the case remains brushed. 
you get that kind of part of the airplane over here, these little dots going up, which is pretty cool. Very smooth brush finish, brushed bezel as well. Heading to the other side of the case, you can see, very nice finishing. No sharp edges or anything like that. Yeah, taking a look at the case back, always a nice drawing here of an airplane. Yep, there it is. There is the Spitfire, as you can see. Nice screw down case back with the AV8 logo as well. Uh, yeah, brushed. Very nice, very nice artwork of the Spitfire airplane. You can see the propeller here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, they actually put a new 22 millimeter strap here. It kind of reminds me of an IWC strap as it's kind of wider over here, then it slims down over here and a lot of close holes to each other, white stitching going all around. Um, pretty flexible, a bit more sturdy than some of the other genuine leather bands, but it's definitely a nice uh, cut of leather. We do get that Aviate standard buckle, which is pretty much seen across all of their models. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at the loom and see what it's all about. So the loom, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty bright, it's a bright green. And this one does have some pretty good loom for a pilot watch. I think you should have some good loom. So uh, yeah, definitely a good job on the loom. On my 6.75, 6.5 inch wrist, it really wears quite nice. Uh, 51 lug to lug, it fits just about across. Definitely a little a bit thick though. Uh, definitely thicker than some of your other AV8 models. Definitely has a bold appearance there. As you can see that anti-reflective coating on the hardened mineral glass definitely works okay. So no issues with that. The strap is definitely very pilot-like. Sometimes I like putting it over instead of under. I think it just looks cooler. I don't know, a bit more pilot-like in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a very, there's the AR coating. You can see that nice blue. Yep, just like a sapphire with anti-reflective coating. Um, but it feels pretty strong. But yeah, it definitely fits nicely on my wrist. So if you have a wrist of, you know, 6.5 and over, you should be good to go on this model. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new Aviate Spitfire 4089 going for sale October 1st from AV8. Um, what do I think? I think it's a very nice looking dial. I like what they did with the dial. Uh, maybe I wish they'd slim it down a little bit. Maybe the 11 millimeters would have been a bit nicer. Um, yeah, I think the new straps are pretty cool. Um, they're very kind of very obviously very IWC inspired, but they're very nice as well. Uh, a bit more sturdy, a bit more rugged. Feels like it'll uh, do over time, you know, a little better than their other straps. Um, but yeah, I think maybe a Sapphire Crystal would be a nice upgrade for this watch. Like I said, I don't know the exact price yet. Um, this is only a pre-production unit, or it's actually the same as the production units, but you know, it's just not for sale yet. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I think they just made it a little bit thinner and uh, maybe added Sapphire, which is really not that, you know, big of a deal. Um, I think it would be, you know, perfect. Like I said, not every watch is perfect, um, but I think it's a pretty decent looking watch for the money and definitely you should take a look at it if you enjoy this style of watch and I've never tried a watch from AV8. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Definitely smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.